down real quick and I wanted to make a suggestion. I know that it's Shanann's birthday today and happy birthday, beautiful girl. I hope you're up there dancing and partying with angels. But I know everybody's going to be posting pictures and saying happy birthday to her. If you're brave enough, because people are watching and people share the most lindish crap, what if everybody goes live and shares with her family what she was to them? Um, how beautiful she was to them. What she did for them. Um, she was the most amazing person to me. She was an incredible mom. She loved her baby. She'd do anything for them. I don't know how she held it together the way she did. Um, she was OCD and I loved it because I wanted to be more OCD, but I didn't know how she did it with Bella and Cece because I have three kids and I can't get them to keep a room clean. So her smile lit up her room. She had the most unique and wonderful taste in her like household decor. Um, my son, Nicholas, it was really funny because I remember that she had these two spaces in her living room that were like identical. And <laughs> she had these vases in them. And every time we would go to her house, Nicholas and her had this little relationship where he would mess with her because of her OCD. So he would um, move her stuff. <laughs> and when she was in North Carolina and we house set, um, he moved a lot of her stuff. So much to the point when they got back from North Carolina, she called me the next day and said, tell Nicholas I love him and thank you because she had to spend, I think, most part of the day putting things back. And it wasn't like he, he rearranged the whole house, but he'd move pictures a little bit so they were crooked on the wall and turn vases around so they weren't facing the right way to her. So they had a very <laughs> loving, playful relationship. Um, so just just go live and tell her family how amazing she was because she, she was and she is an amazing person. Um, she's doing amazing things still. So happy birthday, Shadan. I love you. I miss you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Hi, everyone. So, I wanted to come live because I wanted to tell everybody something. Um, I've had a lot of questions lately of how have I done it? How have I gotten through the last seven months? And I can't promise you that I'm not going to cry through this life because I probably will. But, I choose to get through. Um, I had a lady message me and say that you're so strong after everything you've been through. And, I have my bad days, believe me, I do. My husband and children can attest to them. But, I choose every day to get up. I choose every day to be a better mom to my children than I was the day before. I choose to be a better friend, a better sister, um, a, a better daughter, a better Grandfather, mother. I can't imagine. Those are my grandchildren.